ADHD in writing. Hello. <laughs> okay, so first thing is I want to say that ADHD is badly named. Attention deficit is not the problem. The problem is executive function, making decisions, and then the hyperfocus is a powerful tool. So there's not a problem with the way my brain works, it's a problem with the way the world is structured around me. The trick is how to restructure my world so that it works with the way my brain works. This means that when it is time for me to sit down and write, I need to try to trigger one of four things. And if I can trigger all of them, even better. Novel, which is ironic considering that I'm a writer, but novel, if it's new, it's interesting. That's the reason the beginning of a work is so much easier for us. So much easier. Sustain is hard. So I have to figure out a way to make every day feel new. Two, interesting. If it's something that is interesting to me, I am gonna want to get back to it to the exclusion of everything else. So figuring out ways to remain interested in the work that I'm writing means mining it for everything that is interesting to me personally, which means writing for myself, not writing for other people. Three, challenging. Challenging can take a number of different forms. It can be, oh, this scene is gonna be difficult to write. Can I write eight POVs in a single scene? Mm. Or it can be something that you can trigger on a daily basis, like a word sprint. So word sprint is something where you're like, can I write 500 words in five minutes? Go. Challenging is something that you can figure out ways to trigger on a daily basis. I have a sand timer that I turn over. I do word sprints. I'm a big fan of for the words. That's the number four, which is a game that turns writing into a role playing game. And you, it's amazing. And then the last one is urgency, which is this has to be done right now. This is the most important thing that is happening in my entire life. There's a number of ways to trigger urgency. One of them is to meet up with a friend, an accountability buddy. That means that it's important that you write because if you don't, you're gonna let your friend down. The other is something like NaNoWriMo. NaNoWriMo works great for people with ADHD because every day there is a thing that you have to hit and it's hitting all of the things. It is novel, it is urgent, it is challenging, and hopefully your book is interesting. So, if you can figure out ways to structure your life to trigger those four things, then you can probably get through that initial barrier of just sitting down in the chair. The last kind of piece of that is that if you don't have an accountability buddy, and those are really one of the best tools for someone with ADHD. If you don't have an accountability buddy, setting up a ritual can help. So I mentioned that I have a sand timer. That sand timer only gets turned over when I'm writing and it's beautiful and I like turning it over. I can write when I go anywhere, but if I'm having a really hard time, then setting up the sand timer and setting up a writing sprint for myself can really help get me going. The other thing that you can do is to remove the barriers from writing. And one of the biggest barriers for someone with ADHD are all the other distractions. So if you can create time and space for yourself to be bored, you're gonna have a much higher probability of actually being able to sit down and do the thing. And let me just tell you, you have all of my sympathy. And on the days that you can't write, it's okay. But if you wanna test whether it's your brain or the story, do the three sentence challenge. All you have to do is commit to yourself that you're gonna sit down and write three sentences. And if it's at the end of the day and you have to write them before you can go to bed, that makes it urgent, doesn't it? Good luck.